when comparisons tend to happen uh, that uh, um, say Kajol has done so many super successful films uh, she's everything that she does we don't compare ourselves to each other because we're so different i think the comparison has always been in the mind of the media and in the mind of the public i've never taken what people say about me seriously because i've had such a strong view of what i want to do and how i am and what i want to do so i've never really given much mental space my mm. mental space one thing about big boss you wish more people knew <laughs> I can't give out these secrets. <laughs> How do you rate Salman Khan as a, as a as a host? Excellent. Nobody can do it like he does. Hi, this is Tanisha Mukherjee and you're watching Bollywood Hangama. We have with us uh, Tanisha with us on Border Nangama. Uh, we'll find out uh, more about her journey and what is the future plan. Pleasure having you with us on Border Nangama. Thank you for having me. Tell me, uh, how, how, how would you just uh, look back at your journey so far? I would say it's been quite exciting, very mm. simple, not too hectic, right. and uh, kind of very like open, mm. and for everyone to see exactly what's happening. Okay, and uh, do you think that uh, marriage is maybe overhyped? <laughs> too much of speculation that tends to take place around you know they marriage. they say in india that's the only topic people have to talk about is right. marriage like when you travel anywhere else in the world like people will talk about so many other things you know about how your health is how your fitness is how your mental state is how your you know friendships are just other things they'll talk about world economics the environment about so many other things but when you're talking to people in india that suddenly the first thing they'll ask you is are you married it's like a i think it's like a status symbol in india yeah. and that's what's that's why it's so hyped right so, so recently i believe uh, uh, tour ring uh, got people triggered <laughs> and speculations were there about your marriage so you find that, it funny i find i i found it very weird i was just so amused because i was like i didn't expect something so simple to trigger people to this level but uh, but you know you never know with social media it's one of those things you never know what will just take off correct okay and how tough is it for uh, for any any anyone to have like a very successful like a sibling for example and um, a very successful mother as well is it tough does it does it put pressure you know i think that people like i hate this word tough because a if you have a successful mother you have a very easy life you're already at a level of privilege that a lot of other people are not at yeah. and then on top of that when you add a successful sister and a successful family to that you come from so much privilege that you know that tough idea is just like an idea it's got it's it's a mindset if you want to buy into that mindset yes your life can be very difficult because you're buying into that mindset but if you come from a place of like i'm so lucky that i already got placed in that position that i was open to so many more opportunities were open to me so much more you know access was open to me correct and when you value that i don't think you find it tough i think journeys are just different they're different journeys mm -hmm. it's a different level of toughness for people who are new who come into the industry and the kind of you know bar uh, barriers that you have to cro cross is it's just different but you already come from a place of privilege right now uh, that's that's a very interesting thing that that you're saying but um when when comparisons tend to happen uh, that uh, um say kajol has done so many super successful films uh, she everything that she does people people wait for her next announcement and i think that is something which is a huge thing for any actor or actress that people literally wait for her announcements and uh, that if she's doing something there yeah. must be something in the project so i'm saying from 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 that perspective that the comparisons which tend to happen and and uh, it can be brutal at times even in in media for example the way the comparisons happen they can be brutal so it's funny you're right i mean when but and she had a different pastor, journey you I'm know sorry like to but the beautiful part is that kajol is extremely supportive of you yes she and is you guys have a great relationship and we don't compare each other like mm. we don't compare ourselves to each other because we're mm. so different mm. so i think the comparison has always been in the mind of the media and in mm. the mind of the public 
I will say that when you're a newcomer, like I will say the difference between somebody with privilege who comes into the industry, who has a famous parent or a sibling, is that they don't get a chance to make too many mistakes in the beginning. Mm. They don't get that chance to, you know, from their first film, the scrutiny is you have to be brilliant. Mm. They don't get the chance to learn on the job. Whereas a lot of actors who come in, and it's true, any actor will tell you the more films you do, the more experience you get, the better you become as an actor. So I think the more uh, younger actors who are not so famous who come in, they get a little more of that growing time before mm. the spotlight falls on them and they're scrutinized. Although now in the industry, I think there's just so much competition that you have to be brilliant. Absolutely. Uh, you've used the word privilege. Now, we tend to have this, these debates all the time that about you know nepotism and how uh, <laughs> how word. the industry industry <laughs> industry kids they, they tend to have an advantage i think you are like a jeeta jakta example of the fact that uh, it's 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 not that easy in the sense that it can be there can be all sorts of things and uh, ultimately it's the money that 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 rules the roost and uh, people make the decisions based on, on on say business aspects so just to just to uh, just to have a simplistic sort of approach that if you are from the film family, you've had it easy. Maybe it is not correct. Yeah, definitely. I think that if you come from a film family, you just have a lot of scrutiny, like I say again and again. It's just, it's it's not about, um, like, I, I honestly don't know how to answer this question because it's so, it's so vague. You know what I mean? You can't, there's, there's everybody's journey is different. And you can't compare one to the other. Some people have had it really easy. Some filmy kids have blown up, you know. And like they just had like, it was like, wow, it just happened. And some have not worked. So it's, I think it's a very subjective, you know, thing. And as far as, like you said, this industry is all about the money. It's become a business now. If you're not bringing in the dollars, if you're not bringing in the bucks into the screen, then you're not going to make it. All right. Now, you also use the word mental health. Um, what is the importance of of uh, of just nurturing the, the mental health element? Because ultimately, life goes on. And it's very, very important to 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 have a life beyond beyond competition and beyond work and beyond success and beyond, beyond fame. I think uh, before you come into this industry, you have to have a very strong sense of self. No matter what age you're at, you need to have a very strong sense of who you are and that person will come out and be the star on screen. Right. And I think those are the people that actually make it. The ones that have a very strong sense of self. And maybe I didn't make it because I didn't have that. Maybe I was a little more insecure or maybe I was a little more, you know, who knows. But I really do after all these years, after seeing the graph of many people and just being very like having my own observations, I feel that the people who have a very strong and that makes a difference because otherwise this industry can really mess with your mental health because you will have no matter which stage in life and the more successful you get, the more you need to be strong about who you are because the more people will try to tell you about who you should be and how you should be and what you should be and I think, you know, that's why it's very important to come into this industry with a strong a sense of self and a strong in like a strong backing like a strong family or a strong support system that you know gives you that confidence to go in front of the camera and be yourself every time because everybody will try to make you they'll try to mold you to them their way of how you should be or their perception of you how you should be okay. yeah what is the importance of a sense of humor definitely Definitely. You have to be able to laugh at yourself. And sometimes you just have to be able to ignore yourself also. That's that's I, I think the most important thing is have, you have to, like my key to happiness is knowing what to ignore. You have to learn to ignore things. If you're not able to ignore things, you can't, you can't move, you know, you can't like function. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Um, how do you look back at uh, your big boss experience? Like I said, you have to learn to learn what you need to ignore. <laughs> but you went very far. I did. I had a very interesting time. It was a very eye-opening experience mm. because I'm a very I'm a very straightforward person. Mm. And, I mean, and I'm unfortunately extremely real. Mm. And I don't know how well that works in that scenario because mm. a lot of the times I could never figure out what people were saying to me, like why they were saying things that they were saying. 
you know, mm. I just couldn't figure it out. I was like, hmm, like, I didn't understand the game that was going on. Like, mm. that either kuch aur bolna hai and camera pe kuch aur bolna hai and then you have to show that, oh, see, I'm showing you how she's so like this. And, mm. you know, there's a game, there's a format to it. Mm. And living in the way I live, like, I was just, like you say, you come from privilege, you're not used to people you know, that agendas and all of that. Mm. So it was, it's like a real world experience in there. It right. makes you realize that this is like hardcore business scene, you know, because everyone's like out to get that title mm. and they do whatever it takes. And you're just like, okay, I, I didn't get it. I didn't understand it. Like, I think now I would be a little better, but earlier when I was there, I didn't understand it. But I think maybe those those few months and, and the months after that, they must have been the, the most... Uh, publicly scrutinized phase of your of your life no i think when i was in the house was my po most publicly scrutinized i'm saying phase. Uh, when when you were when inside I was in and the after house, that after yeah. that as well yeah when the i was in the house i think uh, after that i didn't uh, pay, pay much attention mm. i only found out what people were saying about me after i came out mm. and then like i've said like i've always grown up ignoring all that like i never took i never took it seriously i've never taken what people say about me seriously because i've had such a strong view of what I want to do and how I am and what I want to do. So I've never really given much mental space, my mm. mental space, mm. you know, to worry about, oh, somebody's taking me the wrong way or somebody's not, you know, because that's their perception. You can't, mm. what you can't control, you have to like let go. All right. We are in a very interesting phase right now when, uh, say, especially because of OTT, a lot of, a lot of the actresses, they have benefited the most because huge, generally, uh, cinema is considered to be a man's domain, um, a hero's domain, for example, because he brings in the uh, the audience supposedly and all those things are considered. So that, but uh, when it comes to OTT, for example, uh, you don't have the that that uh, Democles sword of the Friday o over your mm -hmm. your your head. Be it Ravina Tandon, be it Sushmita Sen, be it uh, Kriti Karbanda, be it uh, Kirti Kolari, for example, be it Rasika Dugal, Pooja Bhatt. So many, so many actresses, and, and there are many more names that I'm that I'm not mentioning right now. Maybe they have really, really come onto their own, and um, they are being talked about. Amruta Subhash, um, Shreya Pilgaonkar, so many of them, mm -hmm. and uh, they are literally becoming superstars in their own right. So, do you feel that that um, maybe it is it's an opportunity waiting to be um, had or grabbed, maybe? Uh, for 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 someone someone like you who's who's had an experience with the show business who understands how it works and uh, try out what is what is maybe best best for you definitely mm. I uh, I love the way that the OTT has just mm. made so many female characters come out made them so multi layered mm. and allowed you to you know explore aspects of the female character that earlier were not being able to be explored on typical Bollywood heroine space, Correct. you know, and I think that's why I didn't do very many typical Bollywood heroine films because I was like, I can't identify with this too much. So if you see my repertoire of like the very few films I've done is literally very few films that I've done because I was just like, I mean, you know, it was, I guess I just didn't, my mom always told me, you know, go with what you identify with. And I didn't identify with a lot of those. So yeah. I'm hoping now with OTT that I will get that opportunity to, you know, maybe explore a character that is mm. more multi-layered and more that I can identify with and more because I was always, I think, a little ahead. Mm. If you see Neela and Nikki, I think when I did Neela and Nikki, I really identified with that girl. I really identified with Nikki. Mm. Uh, and she was so cool. You know, she was taking a boy to make her ex-boyfriend jealous. Like she was the protagonist of the film. Mm. And I loved that about her. And, uh, and of course, everything went uh, wherever it went. But, you know, so I just think that definitely today, I would love to get the opportunity to play a multi laver not so positive exactly. always. You know, shades, there's a lot of gray shades. There's a lot of even negativity is today mm. justified so beautifully in OTT. Like even a negative character has their justifications. And I love that. And I think I would find it very interesting to do something like that. Right. Sonali Bendra has recently uh, done the broken news and she has been really applauded for, 
for, for, for doing what she has done. Yeah. Have, you, have you approached anyone? Uh, because, you know, the way it works, many times, uh, uh, I think some of the biggest actors, they have, they have approached the casting directors and, and, and filmmakers on their own. Yeah. And um, requested them to audition them because uh, to just hope that someone will, will be approaching you on their own. <laughs> because many times, what happens is that maybe he or she is not interested. Yeah. Like, if we approach them, we don't know how, how maybe uh, there are people who can get offended that I don't have interest in me, why are we approaching them? So, do you think that that will be... No, definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm very, I, I do. I'm very open mm. to approaching people and I, I'm very open. I'm just basically very open and accessible. Right. And I'm easy to contact on my Instagram and I'm always on social media. So, there's mm. no like... And I don't have any of the agency secretaries and all of that jazz. I don't believe in it. So I'm very, I'm a very one-on-one -on -one person, mm. <laughs> and I like it that way. Great. So I will not ask you all this in this interview that you that Kajol's favorite film is Tanuja Ji's favorite film and who was pairing best with him and Ajay Devgan is the way of Jiju. Because I think that is a predictable stuff that uh, Yeah, and I think I've done be... too many interviews with those yeah, questions. So I think... Uh, <laughs> Rapid Fire with Tanisha Mukherjee. Who among your characters, Nikki, Lachi, Narayan and Avantika, do you think would have been best friends with Tanisha? Nikki. And why is that? Because she's a party animal. <laughs> she would take me out and make me party and be adventurous and I love that. Complete the following sentence. Kajol is the best sister in the world because? Because she's just so loving. Nobody loves like she does. What is your first memory of realizing your mother Tanuja Ji's stardom? Oh, when I walked into school one day and all these girls were talking about this girl who's coming, who's my mom's daughter. And they were like, oh my God, I'm sure she's going to be very like a bitch and she's going to be like this not nice girl. And they were thought I'd have all this attitude and I'm sitting listening to this conversation and wondering, who are they talking about? <laughs> and then later on, of course, now they're all my best friends and we're all still in touch after all these years. We've got this big girl group from school. So, it was right. really funny, but for that second, I was like, uh, they talk about my mom. Right. A web show that you've seen in recent times that has really appealed to you? Ooh, that's a tough one. I see so many web shows. Is it in English or Hindi? Anything. It can be anything. So, uh, recent times, I've seen Mirzapur. I've loved it. Mm. I've loved The Family Man also mm. in Hindi. In English, I would have to say, I really liked, I like action. I'm mm. a big action person, so I loved Preacher on Amazon. Mm. Also because it's, uh, you know, Tom Cruise has done that whole series of, you know, that uh, the author. So I loved Preacher. I thought it was really good. One thing you won't compromise on with your future partner? Loyalty. One thing about Biz Big Boss you wish more people knew? <laughs> I can't give out these secrets. <laughs> How do you rate Salman Khan as a, as, a, as a host? Excellent. Nobody can do it like he does. Right. Okay, what would you rather prefer? Judging a reality show or participating in a reality show? Judging a reality show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think I would like to analyze all the people on the reality show the way I was analyzed. <laughs> <laughs> Describe your fashion philosophy with a movie name. With a movie name, Devil Wears Prada. Devil Wears Prada. Okay, <laughs> all right. That's my fashion philosophy <laughs> because I can sometimes make Prada look like a like, like a devil's wanted. Even though it's Prada, I'll make it look like Katra. <laughs> okay, uh, something that you always wanted to tell Uday Chopra but could not and if you can say, say it now. Nothing. I always told him everything that I wanted to tell him. <laughs> there was really nothing left. Like, there was never anything. We never had that kind of relationship. We were always very open with each other. How was it to meet Aditya uh, Chopra for the first time? How was it to meet Adi for the first time? I met Adi for the first time when I was a kid. Okay, and how, how do you remember that? I remember it because we very, went very to the... Very few people have met him actually. Oh no, oh really? Oh my god, oh, so we're talking about like seeing seeing the, seeing the what is that? Uh, the ghost. Yeah, the Loch Ness Monster or something, you know, right. which you've I've never... I've seen him, I've it's seen a him myth. I've You're seen talking him. about the myth. Yes. Okay, no, so Adi's, uh, the first time I met Adi was at Yashraj's office when mm. Kajal had gone to... Um, See, she'd been, she'd been approached for Dilwale and we'd gone to the office and went up and Yashankal was in the office and Adi was there and they were like, 
oh this is adi and i was like oh okay this is adi this is the person and then after that of course on the flight to, to delhi or whatever when they did the launch and everything but yeah that was the first time i met adi and i was like okay he's very sweet right uh, your favorite director my favorite rajkumar hirani rajkumar hirani yeah ah, okay all right yeah uh, your favorite actress apart from uh, kajol Madhuri Dixit, Shri Devi. Can I just name like a line of them? They're just mm-hmm. like there's so many. I'm just such a big movie buff. Okay, so any any Madhuri song that can make you dance at any point of time. Choli ke piche. Choli ke piche. Always one and only Choli ke piche at any time. <laughs> okay, and does a casual object that you you are so I think a fan girlish on uh, one of my contemporaries. In a way, I think Madhuri was a contemporary. Not at all. Mm. I think she was a fan girl for Shri Devi, so like she also loved Madhuri. So it was not like we were, you know, there was never any this thing. I think Madhuri a little before Cats, little bit. Ah, of course, of course. Thora sa. But nineties, I think. Anil Kapoor, Madhuri, Dil, all those genre films that we've seen, we grew up on those. You right. know, like little bit. I think, I think nineties, nineties. I think. I mean, like don't that. kill me for saying this. I'm just stating facts. <laughs> So Tanisha all the best wishes and thank you very much for whatever you're doing thank you so much thank you for having that's me. all we have from Bollywood Gama keep on watching Hi this is Tanisha Mukherjee and you're watching Bollywood Hangama